What's happening? There are little blue people, Smurfs, in my house? Wait, this isn't my house. Maybe this is a chance to understand, experience 3D design in a completely different perspective. Doesn't your work combine the skills of a builder, an engineer, a craftsman and designer? You play one of those important roles. What do you think of the word inventive? I am not internally comfortable with being called an inventor. Back in my village, Britain, the British people automatically associate the word inventor with mad. But to me inventing is what you've been doing for the village, solving problems. During my studies, I became interested in the historical figure of a master builder who performed all of the skills you incorporate into your work. And I, I also tried to do the same. Unfortunately, these different aspects of your work have been divided into different professions, which is a shame since before it meant that the generating of ideas was connected to the process of turning them into reality. Because I didn't study architecture correct, but I don't like to separate artistic thinking into different crafts and professions, I prefer to consider all designs as a single discipline of 3D design. <laughs> of course, but I'm going to need your help. Since I have always preferred to work as a team, I like the idea of projects being the result of a collective effort. Usually, I create mini experiments for my projects while thinking about how they might translate to a larger scale. Thank you, but uh, I don't drink coffee. However, I'll accept the tea and the cake. Thank you. I get sore throat from often talking so much, so I usually wear jumpers with long, rolled up necks. Well, that's what design is about trying to push what things are made from, how they function, using resources that are available to try and do things that matter. But I want to create something that not only can Handy share with Marina, but the other Smurfs too.
is what we all share together that interests me. The way your hat sits on your head so naturally, I like the ability fabric has to fall into naturally sophisticated shapes. When I look at the master painters' portraits in my world, my eyes would always go to the fabric and how they painted the folds of the fabric. How about allowing the material to impose its will onto the design rather than we try to impose our own or onto the material?